Hi, Emma. Uh, could you examine Vivian's shoulders, please, for your finals examination? Yep. Thank you. Okay. Hello, my name is Emma Cameron, and I'm one of the fifth-year medical students. Can I ask your name, please? My name is Vivian Stepper. Hi, Vivian. It's nice to meet you. So I've been asked to examine your shoulder today. Just involve me having a look, feel, and getting you to do some movements. Does that sound okay? Yeah, that's fine. And if it's all right with you, as I'm going through the examination, I'll talk back to my examiner, explain the kind of things that I'm doing and what I'm looking for. Does that sound okay? Have you got any pain in your shoulder at all today? No, I don't. Okay. So I'll just start by having a look at your shoulders. So from the front, I'm looking for any asymmetry, any skin changes, or any scars or obvious swellings. Can you turn to your right for me? From the side, I can look for any excessive thoracic kyphosis. Turn to your right again for me. From the back, again, I can look for any skin changes, any scars or wasting. Can you turn to your right again for me? and place me. Okay, thank you. Now, if you could pop your hands behind your head for me like this and push your elbows right back. Brilliant, thank you. And then if you can put your hands behind your back, flat on your back. Okay, thank you. Now I'm gonna move on to having a feel of your shoulder. Let me know if you have any pain or tenderness at any point. Okay. okay. So first I'm just gonna feel for the temperature. And the same on this side. Okay. Now I'm going to have a feel more closely. Let me know if there's any pain at any point. Okay. So start at the sternoclavicular joint. Feel along the clavicle to the acromioclavicular joint. I'll have a feel of the humeral head. And then have a feel down the back to the spine of the scapula. Any pain there at all? No. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other side. So again, starting from the sternoclavicular joint, along the clavicle, to the acromioclavicular joint, humeral head, and down to the spine of the scapula. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to ask you to do some movements of your shoulder. So the first thing, if you can put your hands by your side, if you could point your thumbs forward for me and then just lift both your arms straight up into your ears. Brilliant, and then you can take them back as far as they'll go. Okay, and then back to your sides again. If you can put your thumbs out to the side this time and bring them both up outwards to the side, all the way to your ears. Brilliant, and then back down and across the front of your body like this. Okay, thank you. If you can bend both your elbows up like this and keeping your elbows tucked in, turn your hands out to the side and then bring both your hands in and to round to your back. And then if you could try and reach up your back as far as you can with your thumbs pointing upwards. Okay, that's brilliant. Just relax for me now. So I'm gonna do some of those movements again, but this time I'm gonna move your arm for you. So just keep relaxed. Okay. Okay. So bring them forward, back out behind you. Okay. I'm just feeling for crepitus at your shoulder while I do this. Forwards and extension. Okay. Abduction and adduction. Relax. Abduction and adduction. Okay, brilliant. Bend your elbow for me. We turn it in and out. And the same on this side. Turn it inwards and outwards. Okay, relax. Now we're going to do some of those movements again, but I'm going to do them against resistance this time. So if you could put your hands by your side, and what you're aiming to do is bring them outwards like this, but I'm going to resist them. So if you can push out against my hands. Okay, just testing the supraspinatus tendon. You can relax now. You can bend both your arms up like this. Push out against my hand. Testing infraspinatus and teres minor. Relax down. Push out against this hand, same on this side. Okay, brilliant, and relax down. If you can put one arm behind your back like this, and then push out against my hand, brilliant, and then reach up as far as you can. Great, thank you. And if you can do the same with the other hand, push out against my hand, and reach up your back as far as you can. I'm testing subscapularis there. The last special test that I would like you to do is just to look for winging of the scapula. So if I can ask you to go over to the wall, place your palms against it and push off it, please. 
So here I'm looking for winging of the scapula, which would show a problem with serratus anterior muscle of the long thoracic nerve. Thank you very much. So, um, to complete my examination, I'd like to examine the joint above for the C-spine and below at the elbow. I'd like to do a full neurovascular assessment of the upper limb. I'd also like to look at any available imaging. In summary, today I saw Vivian and examined her shoulders. On inspection, there were no obvious abnormalities or deformities. On palpation, there was no increase in temperature, tenderness or swelling of any of the joints. On movement, there was a full range of movement, both active and passive, in all directions, and movements against resistance were also normal. In summary, this was a normal shoulder examination. Thank you. That completes your exam.